In today's video, I take a trip to Orlando, Florida to experience the wonderful theme park known as Universal Studios in Minecraft. Come join me and learn what it takes to film and direct blockbuster movies like Jaws and even titles like Shrek. I can honestly say that you guys are in for a treat. But as always, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and ding that notification bell so you never miss another upload. Enjoy the video. We are absolutely in the Universal Studios in Minecraft. If you haven't noticed already, I am not using my traditional skin because for some reason my skin wasn't approved for this. And this is also a live event that is also on a live server with other people. So this should be a little more different than what I'm used to doing. But you know what? Let's take a tour and let's take a look to see what this Universal Studios is truly about. So there's a bunch of different like film clappers around the map to show other things. There's other stores and gadgets and stuff. So what's this? Oh, hold on. Can we actually get like stuff? What do we got here at the store? A fire blaster, a snow blaster, and you get them from tickets? Dude, look at some of these weapons. Oh, these are so cool! I am definitely gonna need to come back for a gun. Or, uh, what's it called? A, um, a blaster or something. Let's work our way to the left, and we'll go around the entire studio and see what we find. Or actually, you know what? There's a studio tour- oh, wait, okay. The- the train actually showed up. Okay, uh, move over, guys. We're departing in 20 seconds. This person doesn't even look like they're sitting in it. They're, like, having a hard time- is this only a two- no, I refuse to believe it's only a two-seater. Oh, here we go. Oh! Well, good afternoon, riders, and welcome oh! to the Universal Backlot Tour here on this lovely Minecraft day. My name is Charlie, and I will be your tour guide. This I is sick. We've all been enjoying the incredible activities and food that we have on offer today. Whoa. We are going behind the scenes to see just how we bring movies to life. And as a special treat, we'll even get to see some of our favorite animated characters. Yes! First stop, San Francisco. Soundstage 50 is currently our San Francisco BART station set. Uh, oh. Nothing to worry about, just a minor tremor. Earthquakes what? are pretty common here in San Francisco. Oh! Oh, uh, oh okay. Oh my god! Dude, what is this? This is amazing! Whoa! Uh, okay, uh, the train just absolutely went into that pillar. Okay, um, water is seeping in. My guy, I think we're gonna die here, man. Well, oh. congratulations, everyone. You are survivors of Earthquake the Big One, a simulated 8.3 earthquake on the Richter scale. I think after all that excitement, we'll go somewhere a little more tranquil. Yes! The trip to Amity Island Sound. I mean, the island? Let me see, let me see. The let me see. Jaws Lake set is the perfect place to enjoy a sunny day, if you ask me. Ooh. Although, I'm no expert, but is that a shark in the water? Where? Well, just stay behind the tiny flammable dog. What could go wrong? Wait. See? Everything is totally fine. Wait, is this... introduce you to Bruce. Bruce is our mechanical shark and one of the hardest working actors here at Universal Studios. Wait, is that supposed to be Jaws? Used in Jaws. Oh, it is used in Jaws. These are also an important part of what we do here at Universal Studios. In 2001, our friends at DreamWorks released what would become one of the most popular animated movies of our time. No way. Shrek. Let's sit back, relax and enjoy a journey through the story of Shrek. Yes, I love Shrek. Far, far away lived an ogre named Shrek. Shrek loved his quiet Oh! Home, but suddenly, his once peaceful swamp became overrun with fairy tale creatures. Lord Farquaad forced us to come here, Pinocchio exclaimed. Angered by the disturbance, Shrek set out to find Lord Farquaad. This is incredibly Shrek. cool! Shrek would rescue Princess Fiona from a dragon-infested castle. And in return, Lord Farquaad would restore his swamp to its once peaceful state. Dude. Shrek and his unexpected companion, Donkey, heroically ventured into the castle, hoping to rescue the princess from the highest room of the tallest tower. This is so cool! I, I love this. With no time to spare, they were on their way. 
A distant roar echoed through the castle. Wait, where'd the other guy go? Slay the dragon? Fiona exclaimed. Uh oh. Running for their lives, they narrowly avoided the fiery fury of the dragon. They had done it! The princess was safe, and Shrek could deliver on his promise to Lord Farquaad. Dude, what? As the days passed on the journey back to Duloc, Shrek and Fiona grew close, slowly falling for one another. However, Princess Fiona had a secret, a curse, oh. transforming her into an ogre at night, only to be broken by true love's first kiss. Ashamed, Fiona hid, hoping no one would see her. Except one did. Donkey. Fiona Donkey? I swear not to tell anyone, not even Shrek. Bro. Shrek had made a promise. He had rescued the princess for Lord Farquaad. No matter his feelings, he made a deal, and he would see it through. Shrek and Donkey handed over Fiona and went on their way. The deal was done. I love the storytelling behind it too. This is cool. Farquaad to marry her, but Shrek didn't feel good. He missed Fiona. I object! Yelled Shrek, rushing down the aisle, crashing the wedding. As the sun set, Princess Fiona floated up into the air, turning into her ogre form, surprising everyone, and more importantly, Lord Farquaad. Disgusted by her ogre form, Farquaad threatens to lock her away. All his yelling and anger, such a sore on the ears, but nothing a hungry dragon couldn't fix. Oh! With love's kiss, the curse was broken, and Fiona remained an ogre. This is awesome. It. I was meant to be beautiful, she sighed. Shrek gazed into her eyes, a gentle warmth in his voice. But you are beautiful. Returning to Shrek's swamp, they both lived happily ever after. Oh, I do love a good happy ending. That... So they took us through, like, a Shrek... The Shrek thing. That's awesome. Visiting Shrek swamp if you haven't already. Oh, are we in another studio? Oh, we're in like some Western studio thing. Wait, they're parkouring up there. Hey, yo, I want to parkour. Our tour sadly has to come to an end. From all of us here at Universal Studios, thank you and have a wonderful day. Oh, that's it? Oh, that sucks. Oh, I thought it was more. We got another clapper. Oh, so you get tickets for finding clappers. Got it. A bank heist mini game? Bet. Let's do it. Come on, bro. Let's hear it. Uh, would you like to play bank heist? Absolutely. Let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, waiting for bank heist. Uh, players ahead of you. Oh, there's wait. You have to wait in line to actually do the event. Wow. Okay. We might be here for a while. Two hours later bro it's turning today why there's only one person ahead of me why am i still waiting he's not even here the one person waiting isn't even waiting in line he's like running around all over the place like where's my turn i want to go and do the bank heist oh here we go waiting for player wait we're doing a heist with other play. there's me i'm inside the hey yo boys what's going on who wait, i'm hanging out with the stevies bros i'm hanging out with the stevies wait so we're doing a heist with actual other players? This, okay. I was not expecting this, but this is definitely a really cool experience. Oh, we're going in. All right, boys, Stevies, we gotta do the heist. We got, what do we gotta do? Search the cabinets uh, and computers for the key, uh, keypad code. Okay, what are you up to, Dragon? What are you thinking? Uh, oh, I see. Uh, no, we can't open these. It's gotta be in here somewhere. We've opened these. Does anyone have the keypad yet? Right here. I got it. Enter code 164 in the keypad. 164. Where? Oh, here we go. Hey! One. Hey! Six. Four. There we go. There we go, boys. There we go. Hey, so Stevie. Dragon! Dra See, this is what happens when, you are, when you're trying to do a heist on a budget. These guys don't listen. Complete the parkour to uh, get to the... Oh! Yo, they got lasers, BB! Yo, watch out. Oh! Oh, God! Okay, I was not expecting so many of these lasers. You gotta play some TNT. Oh, my God. 
Wait for me! Oh my god. Read the mold. Oh, it opened up! Yo, wait, they just went through it, bro. Oh! Oh, we gotta, we gotta take money. Come on, boys. Time limit. The cops are on their way. We gotta make the money, man. I got them five stars. I can't be going back to jail. Oh, the truck's here. Throw it in. Oh my god, this is actually giving me like vi like payday vibes. Come on guys, pile up on your money. Oh, oh, oh! That was it, wait, oh! Wait, I came second place. You're supposed to do this with like six people, that's insane. Honestly, that mini game wasn't too bad. It was kind of short, but it's definitely better when you do it with friends, obviously, for, for obvious purposes. But we got more clappers and more tickets to get. So let's continue with our tour and see what else this Universal Studio has. And now we're going into Shrek Swamp. Hell yes. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that beautiful side. Look at that beautiful smile. Oh, God. Shrek is an artiste, bro. Yo, it's Shrek. Look at him. Look at this beautiful man. Look at his smile. I love Shrek, bro. Shrek is just an all-around a great movie and a great meme bro he's 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 the best of both worlds and even looking at this look, look at his house like let's go explore his house man what do you got here i want i want to make sure i know some of these uh like things okay so this is like his bed where uh what's it called uh the wolf was sleeping uh oh they even have fiona here what's up fiona dude i love this oh hold on hold on oh hell yeah there's there's the Shrek. Hell yeah. I'm Shrek. What else is there? And there's Wait! Put some boots. What are you doing here? And now I'm donkey. Yeah, that's right. I'm a fucking donkey. <laughs> okay, what else? Target practice. Target practice? What are we doing? Wait, what do you mean by target practice? Target practice. Let's see. Uh, Want to play target practice? Yes, I do. Let's play some target practice. You're going down, man. You're going down. You think I'm afraid of your unicorn hat? I don't think so, buddy. You're going down. Five seconds. Go, go, go. Dude, he's already off to a rip for a start, man. Oh, dude. He, wait, are the gold ones that we need to hit? Are the farther ones more points? It looks like it, but there's gold ones. You gotta watch out for it, because there are more points. Come on. Bro, you're going down. Wait, how am I going? How am I last? How am I second? This is bullshit. Wait, is it because he's going for like farther ones? Is that why? Oh, he is. Come on, no! 30! Mother trucker! There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, let's go! Come on, bro, come on! 1v1 me, bro, 1v1 me! <laughs> 100 tickets, sharpshooter achievement unlocked. Let's go. That was actually kind of cool. There you guys have it. That has been Universal Studios in Minecraft. It was a little bit more underwhelming than I was anticipating. I thought it was going to be a bigger map with a lot more experiences. But nonetheless, it was still something really interesting. I knew, I know they couldn't put together the entire Universal Studios. I was hoping to see things like the, uh, the Harry Potter ride and stuff like that. But I get it. There are limitations. And you know what? I still think this was a very cool experience. I like how they added voice acting. I liked how the shuttle um, uh, was directing you and telling you about the things. Uh, we got to see Jaws. We got to see, uh, yeah, we got to see Shrek, Donkey, Puss in Boots, and just overall, it's a kind of a cool map. Uh, it's unfortunate that it is a live event. By the time you're watching this video, you won't be able to experience it for yourself because it isn't an offline option. But nonetheless, uh, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments if you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like down below. That'd be good. I'd appreciate it. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel already, go and do so so you don't miss out on any of my other content. Having that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay frosty, stay amazing, and hope to see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.